how's everyone doing? Hope y'all are all doing mighty fine. I'm just popping out my chat real quick. I was hoping to be able to download um, the new music for that just got released, but it's in a zip file and the computer is already doing enough as it is with everything going on. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that right this second. <laughs> so maybe we'll have new music tomorrow. Um, so for right now, let's do, let's just do this one. Hey, Bowtie, how are you? And something else happy to see? What? I'm glad your internet's fixed, but I don't know what, what are you talking about? Maybe I'm just being dense. I don't know. I could totally be being dense. That's kind of a normal thing for me. Finally got your least favorite villager. I, we're not talking about villager abuse, are we? Because villager lives matter too. Yeah, you stuck it out mo oh, almost the entire stream. I think I think you you might have uh BRB'd like one time. But yeah, you were here pretty much the entire stream. Okay. I'm still very confused, Merlin. <laughs> You never hit her. I just fenced her into. Wow. Bow tie. Like, we have, like I said, I, I've, we have Meringue. We have Poncho, which I'm kind of like. We have a couple of jocks, and I'm like, we have three jocks. Three. Three. We have Rocket, Sprocket, and Poncho. All three of them are jocks. And I'm just like, why? Why? I don't need another dumbbell pattern. I promise. <laughs> and then we have Jeremiah, who's lazy. Uh, no, we have four jocks. We have Rocket, Sprocket, Bud, and uh, Poncho. Um, uh, and then we have Queenie, who's smug. Uh, we have Bangle. I think she's sisterly. We have Gladys. I'm not sure what she is. And Meringue. Like, I was, no, because uh, Rocket is a girl. I was about to say, we accidentally put all of our girls on one side of the island and all the boys on the other. But no, Rocket is on, on one side of the island and um, she's a girl. Yes, nerds are way better. It's like, you want you want some advice from, from an old lady girls? Find you a nerd. You want to know why? Because nerds don't get girls very often. They will appreciate you more. Not to mention smarts and brains are definitely last longer than looks. I would much rather have a, an old wrinkly man that still makes me laugh than an old wrinkly man who's not hot anymore. You've been grinding Nook Miles? It, 
Exactly. Because they appreciate you more. Because they usually don't get girls. <laughs> Laughs in relevance. I mean, I'm just saying. It's the truest statement I know. Also, Bowtie, your comment about your mom's opinion of Animal Crossing. Hey, Chris, how are you? I was just like... <laughs> you like lazy villagers? Goth Ram. I, I don't mind Jeremiah. I would much rather have, like, as far as frogs go, I don't mind Jeremiah. As far as frogs, I'd much rather have Lily, just because I think she's cute. Um, and I think she's sisterly, not lazy. But that my own, my one biggest problem with lazy villagers is, is every morning, like, I have certain things that I do every morning. Like, I make my rounds around the island. I, I have... 17 trees, 17 non uh, fruit trees on my island because I get my two furniture drops, my five wasps, and then everything else is uh, money drops. So I don't have to worry about shaking trees and only getting sticks or getting nothing. I have 17 trees. That's it. Um, but, uh, I then like ban I have bamboo and then I have all my fruit trees. Um but uh, cuz Danny Raid and I because there's two uh two humans on the island, we have a massive orchard. If we shake all of our trees and turn in all of our fruit, it's like $65,000 or 65,000 bells, excuse me. Bells, not dollars. Bells. Um but, uh, and then we also have a nursery where we're constantly, because we're still, like, setting up our island, um, and getting it the way we want. But, uh, um, and then, hey, Sudanam and Gilf, welcome! But, uh, um, but yeah, like, I shake all my trees and get all my drops out of that, and then I... Uh, I go to each villager's house and if they're at home I want to see if they're uh, crafting and Jeremiah my lazy villager is never crafting I don't even think he has a craft table in his house I'm just like why why I actually, today, the, um, we were, Danny Raid and I, well, mostly I at this point, um, I was setting up my flower breeding area so that I could get some of the more rare flowers, like the blue roses. I really want blue roses. Really want blue roses. Um, and, um, getting everything set up there, um, and then, uh, I feel like a hipster. <laughs> but, uh, I got that mostly set up because I like the aesthetic of having the dark dirt underneath the flower beds because it just looks nicer to me. So I had to pull up all of my fencing dig up all of my flower beds one by one and then put the dirt down and then put everything back. Ooh, nice, Wendigo! I, I think the Switch lights are actually a hundred bucks cheaper if you, unless you just want to put it on the TV. I, me personally, I always... Uh, I almost always have mine docked. I very rarely play in, um, in handheld mode.
That's why you got yours? Yeah, my nephew got one. Um, and I think that's why my sister got it for him was because it was a hundred bucks cheaper. Well, and that's part of how you get to, uh, um, the five star. Like, that's where Danny Raid and I are right now is, is she's already completed, like, the story. Like, KK has come to our island and all of that stuff. So now we're just trying to, uh, get to the five star island and get the villagers that we want and get the island set up the way we want it. So like, there's still things that we're working on. So, um, like the flower breeding area and the orchard is kind of my thing. Um, we're still, Danny Raid has her mermaid cove and a fairy garden that she's working on. Um, and then we have a zoo and a carnival area. Um, and then a library and Muscle Beach. And then we have a, uh, um, uh, like a flea market area. Like, we're still trying to move buildings where there's their, their, like, their final resting place. Why? Is that where I put all my villager houses? <laughs> no. <laughs> and fence them all. Bowtie, no. No fencing villagers in. No. No. <laughs> Bad bowtie. Bad. <laughs> No, we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo over there. Um, <laughs> we have uh, the Mama Panda. Oh, so we have a couple of pandas. We have a couple of bears. Um, I've caught a couple of snapping turtles, so they're over there. Um, and then I think we have one more in area it's just kind of a walk through zoo it's just a place to put more bushes and have more items out because you get certain points you get extra like points towards your five star for like stuff that you have out so like we have a popcorn machine we have like a candy machine we have vending machines over there uh, in the carnival area we've got the teacup ride um, I think there's a carousel that we're looking for. Um, we have the cotton candy machine over in the carnival area. Um, we have like seating area and we have, uh, um, the, uh, the slushy machine over there. Um, and then in the library, it's like a two-story library with like bookshelves and all this, like we've... Whenever I get everything finally done, I'll do an island walkthrough so everybody can see it. Danny Raid, her little fairy garden is going to be adorable if we find all of the DIYs for the things that we want to do. There's these little like mushroom lights that you can make. And then I've got uh, a DIY for a purple hyacinth light. Uh, that we're going to put all around this little fairy garden and then we've gotten all of these little gnomes that we're going to put in the fairy garden and she's got this cute little path that's going to weave through it and it's going to be adorable. You're looking for the mushroom lights too? Well, if I find them, I will make you some. Apparently, Danny Raid finally got the shell arch uh, DIY um, yesterday, and I had been saving up shells to make that, and apparently I got a shell bed um, DIY today, so I'll probably be making that tonight for our little mermaid cove. And what? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's part of the reason why I made the little Animal Crossing chat, because I know not everybody is into... Uh, into Animal Crossing, so I was like, okay, turnip prices and DIYs and, you know, all of those sort of things can just, you know, go over here. E? Are you feeling okay, Merlin? I'm so very confused. <laughs> Define okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Mood? Are you sane? Um, I don't think I could answer that question positive positively. Are you sober? Okay, yeah, we're talking to Merlin. I know pseudonym was in here before. <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I love how you put right now. Yes, I'm sober right now, <laughs> which means that inevitably later, most likely you will not be sober. But yeah, part of my problem is, is I only ever get to play in the morning. So there's like lots of fish and things that happen at night that I can't ever do because I've got to put the babies to bed after stream. So like I still haven't caught a, a scorpion. I know how, I just still haven't been able to catch one. Um... But um, I haven't caught a scorpion. I haven't caught the what the the arowana fish. Jericho has. I have not. He's caught one on my account, so it looks like I caught it. But I haven't caught it yet. Um, I still haven't caught a great white shark. Jericho has caught one. I haven't. Every scorpion you've seen has killed me. Okay, so what you do you want to know how to catch one? They always hide behind a tree. Okay, so what you do is is whenever you see a scorpion, you kind of back off just a little bit and then you take and you grab a couple you you dig a couple of holes and like almost like this so that there's this area in here to basically kind of scoop them and whatever you do whether you um like if you've got the terraforming whether you dig like a little trench or whether you do a, some holes or whatever whatever it is you want to be able to reach across it with your net and then once you've got your your little catchment like a couple of holes across and then a couple up uh, you run over and uh, you stay just far away to where they'll start to chase you and you can turn and run and then run around the back side and they'll run into it and then you just reach across and catch them they're always chasing you before I see them <laughs> It's like, no, no, get away, get away. Ow. Yeah, I accidentally ran up on one because it was hiding in a rock. Like it had glitched into a rock into a rock. And I was just running up the beach. And before I knew it, it was like And I was like, oh, I'm dead. Which then sent me all the way back to my house on the other side of the island. And I was like, well, sad day. <laughs> But yeah, whenever I finally get the island set up, because I know this is not a, uh, um, 
not like really an Animal Crossing community. Maybe I'll do like a little short like beginning of stream like during this time and I'll just kind of show off the the island and what we decided to do. It's like the big things that we decided to do is we did little neighborhoods with our um um our villagers. So like uh we've got oh we've got a resort with, with a infinity pool and a coffee shop. I forgot about that. And Danny Danny is thinking about doing a a bakery. She wants to do a bakery, uh, which I thought was a cute idea. Hey, Alex, how are you? <laughs> Mario, welcome. welcome. Get your life together. Get your music together. Like, talk to your music and get your life together. You don't care to play it? Yeah, it's not. I've tried. I I I like playing it. Like, if for whatever reason we didn't have the game anymore tomorrow, I'd be like, oh, well, that sucks. Like, it wouldn't hurt my feelings that much to not ever play this game again. Um, it's mostly just something to do with Danny Raid. Um, but I like the game okay. Um, I like playing it, but as far as sitting back and watching somebody else run around their island, mostly I just end up sitting here going, well, why did you do that? That looks awful funny together. What? What? Why did you do <sighs> Like, I just end up being super judgy and I don't like being that person. So I just don't watch other people play it. <laughs> if I didn't watch as much. You, you don't think you'd like it as much as you do? Danny Raid watches streamers play it all the time all the time and so she's like constantly on nookas on looking at different things like she's found so many diys that she's like i want to do this i want to do this but she needs like cherry blossoms i'm like honey you only get those around uh in the spring like as the trees change color She's like, I know. I was like, so you can't do that until next spring. She's like, I know. Hey, Exalted, how are you? We're sitting here talking about Animal Crossing. Mostly we're talking about how Bowtie is abusing her villagers. She is a villager abuser. You watch a lot of villager hunts? I've seen a couple people go hunting for like specific villagers. And it's, it's crazy how many, um, how many tickets they use. I'm just like, oh my God. Monster Patrick, how are you? Welcome. Really, really, dude. Yes, Bowtie is totally a villager abuser. She locks them in their room and doesn't allow them to come out. She's so mean. What is my favorite number? I'm 
I mean, that would be a good guess. Yeah, it's 23. But yeah. 13 as well. Thirteen is my lucky number. Twenty-three is like my absolute favorite because it's Michael Jordan's uh, number, or well, except for the time whenever he came back from retirement and it was forty-five, and then the time whenever he was a baseball player and it was forty-five. But other than that, it's twenty-three. Um, um, and then you know seven, lucky seven, because seven is awesome. Hey Slater Man, how are you? Going through some ups and downs. Oh no, Monster Patrick! I hope everything is okay. You're welcome to come hang out with us and maybe we'll make your day a little bit brighter. Or at least that's what my raid song says. My favorite number is all of them. My favorite number is the biggest one you can think of with a dollar sign in front. That's my favorite number. Wow, so she fed them dubious food? Wow. That y'all are some mean mofos. <laughs> y'all are mean. Yeah, I did know that because uh, um, the Little Mermaid, the play that I was supposed to be in, um, it was actually, it's the, uh, we were supposed to open doors next weekend. Well, not next week, not 4th of July, the weekend after that. And uh, they postponed the entire production until next year, next summer. Um, the next play I was supposed to try out for was Assassins. And I hope that they'll be able to get the materials for that. I really, really do. Um, so yeah. Yeah, isn't it Friday? I think it comes, oh, it comes to Disney Plus on Friday. Danny Raid is stupid excited for that one. How are you doing, Slater Man? I haven't seen it either, Merlin. So, I'm with you. I'm really worried I'm not going to like it. I've heard bits and pieces of a couple of the songs and I'm just kind of like, Ugh. Hey, Brianna, how are you? Patrick, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's so terrible. Um, I'm really sorry for you. And yeah, Brianna, that's that's good that your fever has broke. Is uh, are you are you having? Um, any of the respiratory issues or anything like that? Yes, exactly. I'm, I am not a hugger, but internet virtual hugs all to Monster Patrick. I am so sorry to hear that. <laughs> How do we make it go away? Um, be assimilated by the Borg. So 
only thing I can think of. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> Seems legit. Totally. Yeah, it, absolutely. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> I mean, I could be... I, I, there's already a seven of nine. So I don't know who I would be. <laughs> there's already seven eleven and seven of nine. On a side note, maybe this will make you smile. There's here's an Eevee. right here I want you to know just how absolutely tedious the neck floof was oh my god oh my god y'all better appreciate how much I love y'all and how much I love what I do because, oh my god. Mm. There is... There's four rows of individual pieces. Like this. Like an individual piece. That is painstakingly attached through each stitch, four rows, all the way around that neck. And then all combed out with a little cat comb. Oh no, you just had an awkward moment at work right now? Oh no. Yeah. Combing all of that out, the bottom of my trash can is so full of yarn that I kept on having to pull out of this thing. These, the, li the little floofs. I was covered in floofs. My table was covered in floofs. My cats were sitting here batting at floofs in the air that were just like floating around. At 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> like, the behind the scenes of this Eevee getting made was, oh my god. <laughs> Still knocked on the door and I was like, um, occupied. It's occupado. <laughs> <I, I, laughs> I've had that happen to me one time, and my response was, <laughs> It's out of order. <laughs> No, not come in. <laughs> it's out of order. Nobody's home. <laughs> but yeah, there's actually like the honest to God blood, sweat, and tears because I the ears are are felted on just like the eyes are so like i take that little pin with the needles and like uh push through like i think i've showed y'all before um like i do up here except there's there's all of that head space for the needles to go through obviously with the ears there's nothing there so the needles actually go straight through so if i'm not watching 
where my fingers are placed, it's like, ow! <laughs> Dude, I don't think the world was sur would survive if there was two of me. <laughs> It'd be more powerful than an A-bomb. Just... <laughs> slams down chocolate cake <laughs> but yeah whenever murphy sends it just so you know um it will most likely be in a box and the ears may actually have to get folded in um and possibly the tail but yeah you the, the ears are totally you just kind of pop them back out the way you want i kind of curl them a little bit just so they kind of look more like ears. Yeah, that was another long road. It's trying to figure out the placement of the ears where Evie didn't look like Bunny. Or Miniature Pincher. But yeah. See, I'm still pulling floofs off of everything. Still pulling floofs off of it. Here. <laughs> but yeah, it's done. I put the finishing touches on everything last night, so he's done. I just have to put, uh, um, I didn't get a chance to take his, uh, his studio shots. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. And, uh, uh, as soon as he is paid for, he can be shipped out. And if there's another one that needs to be made, I can always, uh, take commissions if anybody else would like one. Um, you just have to give me a little bit to make one up. Also, the eyes are totally custom because the pattern has these weird, like, ho like these huge round Hollow Knight almost eyes. And I was like, that those aren't Eevee eyes. Those are not Eevee eyes. Why? Why? So I actually custom did those eyes to make to look more like Eevee eyes. More flutes! Hmm. I even went over this table with, um, uh, with a, a, a disinfecting wipe to try and get all the flutes off of the table, and I'm still finding flutes. There's a link in the Discord at the top. Because if you put it through Streamlabs, Streamlabs takes a portion of it um, in the Discord area. Um, the There is a, a link to that's a, a PayPal me. Um, and PayPal still takes a little chunk, but it's uh, it's not it's not as bad as what Streamlabs takes. An Assassin's Creed. Ooh, nice. <coughs> Do what? Of the internet in general. <laughs> lurk mode activated. I need a lurk command. Chrissy has a cool lurk command. It looks like a little person looking around a little a, a little brick wall. I need I need to I need to steal that from her. I think I just swallowed a floof. 
the the Eevee floof is so much worse than the Charmander floof. I'm actually considering making another Charmander um, and actually making a video series out of it. Um, I uh, I don't know if y'all have checked. I checked the other day on my phone. That first episode where we had the technical difficulties where YouTube was so far behind was like a solid minute and a half behind um, has got nearly like 800 views on it. And I'm getting um, getting messages sent to me like, hey, could you close caption this in, in my language? I would love to follow you. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> thank you snake thank thank you thank you i yes you are absolutely right why didn't i think of that hey will how are you my 11 year old is buzzing for hamilton i'm kind of like me me From raging at Animal Crossing patterns? Why are you raging at Animal Crossing patterns? I'm almost out of coffee. Bad day. But yeah, I seen it the other day and um every once in a while i just check to see what my most viewed video is and uh, uh that yeah the first episode of the the charmander let's make has got uh, last i checked it had uh nearly 800 views on it and i was just like okay and then i searched youtube um and just put in crochet charmander and my playthrough or my work through my let's make of charmander was actually um all four videos were in the top 13 videos they were just like they were 3 9 11 and 12 in the they were like front page You would love to watch. See, I love musical theater. I'm really afraid I'm not going to like it. You keep messing up. I thought you didn't have a switch, though. I thought you said you were saving up for one. Or did I misunderstand something? And I like musical theater. I do like musical theater. Ignore the cue. I usually do. He's kind of annoying. You're just trying out patterns. I, I, I love the character cue, but he is so annoying. You plan on- oh, 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 okay, okay. I was very confused. I bought- oh, I didn't buy. So, I tried out the patterns on Animal Crossing for the first time today. I have to, like, it told me I had to update my, my designer pro or whatever. But, um, I found in the, what is it, the second season? of Avatar, the little dress that Toph wears whenever she's actually at her home and she's playing the helpless blind girl. I found a pattern of that dress and I was like, oh, I'm totally going to get it. Mine now. <laughs> no, it's not a fit. It's still mine. <laughs> Technically, it's still mine. Technically, it is still in my possession. I it, 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 it's still in my possession. <laughs> I've seen 
the message. Um, yes, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whenever I seen that, I was just like, oh, okay. hump was just hmm. well and, and I, I've asked y'all as far as what Gilf was saying I've asked y'all what y'all want me to make next um, I'm thinking I know I know Friday is a bonus stream I don't know if we're gonna play more if y'all would want to to play just continue to play uh, Last of Us or if y'all would want a, a crochet stream I know as soon as uh, I think Gilf wasn't here whenever I announce this. As soon as we finish Last of Us, we are doing a snack stream. We are going to need some happy in our lives after this super depressing game. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are going to have to have some happy in our lives after this game. So we're doing a snack stream after The Last of Us is done. <laughs> but as far as bonus stream on Friday, I didn't know whether y'all wanted to do just continue with The Last of Us and try and push through that game. Um, I'm seriously considering possibly um, doing, I have one of the Sherlock Holmes games that would definitely be a much slower kind of like actually kind of think your way through things kind of game um or like a puzzle game Chrissy had uh, played this game called The Room and it's very puzzly that we can kind of like chill and work through together uh, which I kind of think Sherlock Holmes might be a little bit um but uh, there's not really a ton of stuff, new stuff coming out. Um, so it's it's definitely uh, backlog time. Definitely, you know, time to look at the backlog of games that I have. Uh, you think I should play Jedi Fallen Order? <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, I know I'm definitely whenever it I don't it doesn't even have a release date yet but it's Pokemon Snap we're definitely doing that one um Murphy I know is getting uh Paper Mario and the Origami King Origami whatever Origami whatever it is um whenever that comes out I think it's what the end of this month the end of no it's the middle of july the 17th maybe yeah hey funk how are you the theater tales <laughs> jericho has played through that game so many times and the nothing else has unlocked so like it's still just the same story that we played through it's still just little red riding hood that day just got home with food Ooh, what's what's for dinner <laughs> I want to fly for a week <laughs> no it's um it's basically like from what I read it's like DLC kind of stuff like as they make it they'll add it to the game but yeah Ooh, sushi. I had sushi last night. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. I bought groceries. Um, I ordered groceries today and we got the, uh, well, Murphy went and picked them up. And uh, um, so I got for like 4th of July, I got like burgers and dogs. Um, 
I also I got some um uh, I got a big like butt roast and I don't know if I'm gonna do it as like bar we like shredded up barbecue or if we're gonna actually do it up with like a roast with like potatoes and carrots and such um I also got a big um, a big ham that I'm gonna do up as like a honey baked ham. Um, then I got some salmon. Um, that I definitely want to use probably this week and do like salmon and like some really good roasted veggies. Um. I think I also got well I was trying to restock our shelves like all of this has definitely I have run through my my overstock in my kitchen so I've been trying to slowly restock all of my shelves so this week was a lot of pastas and like hamburger helpers and cans of tuna and cans of soup and um uh, cans of fruit um like dried soups that i use for seasonings and such uh, seasonings um so yeah like this week was a lot of like pantry item stuff and meats. I try and grab a couple of meats every week, whether I'm going to use it that week or not, just so I can throw down in the big freezer. Um, so like this week, uh, this week we're actually, uh, I found a recipe for some chicken gyros. And so I'm going to try to make homemade uh, chicken gyros for dinner. Probably Saturday. No, not Saturday. Hmm. One night. Not sure when. One night. What is that? Okay, it's like a it's it's a Greek sandwich, but they put it on a pita. So it's like a pita pocket sort of thing. And usually it's made with a mix of beef and lamb. Um, and then they roast it on a spit and then they sh like shave it off. But I don't have any way to do that, so um, I found a chicken version of it, um, and it had they have this like amazing cucumber sauce um, that's like z they call it it's uh, tzatziki sauce um, or z sauce for short, but um, that is just really nice. Um, but yeah, love, 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 love. If uh, if it turns out anything like a real euro, oh, I'm gonna be so happy. You've never actually had lamb. Um, there's a a lamb stew. It's called an Irish lamb stew. I don't know how Irish it is, other than the fact that it has potatoes in it. Um, but, um, I've made a, a, a lamb stew that was really good. You've cooked southern fried chicken chunks? See, Will's with me. He loves Yorotus. Thinking about food? What's a Euro? It's a, it's a, like a Greek sandwich. Um... It, it, but it's on a pita and it, there is a couple of different kinds of seasonings and then there's this really awesome uh, cucumber sauce this white cucumber sauce that's made with Greek yogurt and um, cucumber and dill that they put over the top of it you want your Evie first I will make sure to send Murphy out uh, probably tomorrow um I'll have to take studio pictures of it first and then I can send them out. I also need, um, if you didn't, I'm going to need an address. He was in Greece for two weeks last year. Way too many euros. Every Friday at work. See, I've never, I've, I've been to Europe 
and I've had euros in Europe, but I've never actually uh, been to Greece. I have some of my family that is um, from that area that um, has um, um, that has made home like I, I kid you not, like roasting a suckling pig on a spit out in their backyard kind of Greek people uh, on my biological mom's side of the family um, that made euros for me and they they were so good but I've never actually had euros in Greece I've been in had them in Europe just not in Greece let me check. As I looked at it on, on the PC instead of on my phone, on my phone it pops right up that there's an address with it. On the PC I actually have to click into it. So give me just a second, I'll click in. Okay, yeah, I see it, I see it. I got it. But yeah, I let me like I said, I'll have to take studio pics tomorrow. Those are the really nice ones that have like the gray background and like the really good lighting so that I can post pictures on like Twitter and all the social media and, and all the stuff and the things um, in case anybody else wants one. But uh, but yeah, and then but after that, I can get I can send Murphy to the post office with it. And like I said, if most likely the boxes that he he tends to get um I may have to tell him to like write fragile on it cuz I know like Slater man, I think he said that his box was tore up. Um somebody else said that their box was tore up. But yeah, if you if the ears are folded in to fit in the box, they they pop back out. You just kind of got to push them back out. And then if the floof is messed up, you can you can fix the floof however you want. Hey, Chadley! See, I made an Eevee. This is the kind of stuff that uh, when uh, when Emma gets really good, she can start making because this is all this is all like single crochets. What do you just regular post because we don't actually have a uh, like a UPS or uh, D what DHL or FedEx here in town the we have an authorized vendor but they're they're incompetent Yeah, it's... I'll bend your package. No, the lady's just really super rude about every little thing. Like, I walked in there and um, I had a package that needed to be sent. And I had... Uh, um, um, I had the receipt on my phone. I had all the stuff and things that literally all she had to do was scan the code on my phone and print the um, the receipt or print the, the mailing slip. She absolutely refused because she was just a v authorized vendor. This was not a UPS and that was not her job. I should have printed it at home. So I had to drive all the way back home, print it out myself, tape it to the box, come back up to the store, only for her to tell me that 
her scanner couldn't read the barcode that was on that I had already taped to the box and for her to walk over and print press a button and print it out again and just smack it on the box and I'm like why couldn't you do that the first time that's not my job It's a privately owned business. She was who I would have to complain to. Unless I like went to like the Better Business Bureau or the the mayor or something like that. And it's such a small town. It's just like the post office is literally right like right across the street. Yeah, it, it, it was just I just kind of smiled at her. I was like, you have a blessed day. And just walked out and got out in my car I, because at the end of the day like it got done my package was shipped her nasty attitude was like hey who's really winning here i got what i wanted which was my package shipped you can fuss about it all day but i got what i wanted <laughs> Make her scan things for Toys R Us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh oh. Gilf was being naughty, apparently. Hey, Falcon, how are you? You're still waiting for someone at work. <laughs> Something snarky. <laughs> Kill naughty never. Exactly. He does a good job in stream. <laughs> for the most part. For the most part. Just woke up? How? Wow, I wish I could sleep in. But I think you work night shift or you, like you, you do something on nights. So, I mean, that's probably why. Mostly. How am I? I'm pretty good. This was what... I finally got this done. So, I'm super excited about that. Now I gotta figure out what I'm going to do next. Oh, you work from six to ten? Ah, okay. Oh yeah, so you're you're about to head to work. Cause I think you're in the same time zone as I am, because you're I think you're in central time zone as well. <laughs> Disney PG 13. <laughs> It has been zero days since Gil had a comment removed. <laughs> Public safety advisory. I mean, to be fair, Patrick, I can be rated R too. I just make the conscious decision to do my best not to be that way. need that on screen we need a public service advisory that gilf is <laughs> zero days since his last comment removed i think that's a mostly true statement i think i could go along with that hey chrissy look chrissy look 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 And look how young, I mean, like, this is, it's not that far away from me. Like, this thing is really big. Uh, 
like, let's see. Where's my... So ears and all. Look at this. See if I can get this. Ears and all. He's right at, that's a 12. He's right at a foot tall with ears and all. And that ear span, that ear span is right at 10 inches wide. Him's a big boy. Like he's worth every bit of of what Merlin paid for him. I mean, I thought Brianna was gonna throw down with him. I suggested a mud fight that I thought that would be entertaining for all the rest of us, but they wouldn't let me film it. So I was like, <laughs> and everybody's just like, she did not just say that. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of how he came out. He, she, it. Are Evie's are Evie's one of the ones that are only No, they're you can have a girl, Evie. You can have a boy and a girl. I, just, I couldn't remember if they were one of the ones that were um only one gender. But yeah, I thought I thought he came out pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Got to use my embroidery skills. That's the reason why Small Might isn't done yet because, oh, by the way, Seven doesn't know how to embroider. So I'm having to teach myself how to embroider in order to do Small Might's beak. You think it's the best one I've done yet? I don't know. I know it is definitely the most tedious. I was telling Chrissy the neck floof, um, just getting the neck floof the way that it is was a solid hour and a half by itself. Um, because like that's four rows from here to here, all the way across the front. And then I think two or three rows across the back. Uh, of individually placed like strands like this and you place it through uh, the stitch and loop it around so that it hangs out and then you've got to take all of this with the brush and go through and pull all of that out so like my thumb was red from where I was sitting there holding yarn like this last night sitting here doing this and yeah they've all been really nice <laughs> There was, ask Matt. If Matt shows up, he was on VC with me because we were, we were going to watch Trek and he was in the middle of explaining something to me because we were talking about uh, um, this uh, pen and paper role-playing um, game that him and uh, me, him and some of the mods are going to do. Um, and he was explaining something to me and literally right in the middle of him explaining, I went, oh, because I had shoved that needle through the ear and jabbed my finger. <laughs> and he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, I will be. <laughs> so 
Hush, Demona. Hush. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like quite literally blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, 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 it hurt like a songbook. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie on that one. But, it is the 530s, and this is a gaming channel. On a side note, what, what Pokemon should I do next? Should I do another Pokemon? Should I do Animal Crossing? Um... I kind of, um, I've got the Aang pattern, but there's a special technique that I've got to use for the arrow, so I'm not sure I'm going to do that one on stream until I've tried the pattern. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I didn't know if I wanted to, or if, if I wanted to stream do another crochet stream just hanging out on Friday or or if y'all just wanted to, to do one of these just chilling hanging out just ow, 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 ow. yeah pretty much <laughs> gaming channel what's that <laughs> yeah like we play games over here Crochet a slow poke. Ten years. Really, Gilf? Really? Really? There's a really cool Lapras pattern that I found. Um, that would be fun. Um, or, I mean, I could go back and I could redo one of the other ones if anybody, if anybody's interested. Um, I just didn't know. I know Funk has been wanting me to do a Goomba. I'm not sure I have the right color brown. Um, like, obviously, I could use this Eevee brown. Um, and that would work. Um... It's called warm brown. It's not exactly the right color, but um, it could work. Pikachu is another one. I have all the colors for Pikachu. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, my uh, my next door neighbor has been wanting me to do a Koopa, a Koopa Troopa. Um, I'm fairly certain I know where there's a free pattern. I could do that. Um, uh, there's also a, uh, um, a Yoshi pattern that I've recently found. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, the, in the different games, the Goomba Brown changed. Uh, the one I'm thinking of is more like the brown that has, like, a lot of orange tones in it. It's a real warm, orangey brown. Um, but yeah, the, the, the warm brown that I used for Eevee could, you know, could possibly work. And I've got several skeins of that left. Although if anybody else wants an Eevee, it does take me an entire, an entire one of these skeins to make, uh, to make an Eevee. And this is a $7 skein of yarn. So... Rabs, how are you? I mean, you can request whatever you want. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to find a pattern for it. <laughs> what was the one um, Wendigo said? Ossawat? Is that the one that's like Ossawattle or something like that? I 
totally have uh, patterns for that. I do, I, I can easily get um, a pattern, the, actually the same, the same lady that does uh, these Eevee patterns. She also does um, all the other evolutions. I think they're all in this position, though. Let me check real quick. Um, but yeah, I, I totally see. Matt is my eyes. So whenever I'm looking at new patterns... Um, I, uh, um, I always, I, I have Matt on VC and I'm like, Hey, look at this pattern. Does this look right? Does this, um, uh, uh, does this look like the actual Pokemon? And there's been a couple of times that he's vetoed and he's like, no, mm -mm. there's also been a couple of times. I'm like, no, you're crazy. <laughs> like, just shut up. You're nitpicking. It's fine. <laughs> He has a critical something, all right. I hope he's lurking and heard me say that. <laughs> Excused and quite possibly giggled at? What? Huh? Your type derpage? What did, what did, what did Gilf derp on? Uh-oh. Fur it would be cute, yeah. You'll have to request a zigzagoon. Ooh, hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm getting sidetracked. Let me check. Um, first, let me check. Um, one up crochet because she's the one that I've been getting a lot of my patterns from. Let me check her her Etsy shop first. Because Ash does great um, patterns, but she does a lot of them in the 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 same position. And there's another one, yeah. Okay, so her Umbreon is in this same position. It's in the the butt down sitting position. Evie, there's a. Um, another shop that has hold on yeah so there's another shop that does a really good umbreon that has a standing umbreon The only problem with Umbreon is black yarn. It is a pain in the butt. You know that for a fact? <coughs> no, okay. So let me clarify. Matt is not necessarily critical. He is nitpicky. He will nitpick on things. And I'm just like, Matt, it's fine. Matt, it's fine. Matt, it's fine. <laughs> That's another one that I need to do. Mm, that might be what we do. Thank you, K-Fresh. You, you popping over here. We were just sitting here talking about um, my next project because I finished, I finished this. So we were just uh, sitting here talking about what my next project needs to be. <coughs> I think I swallowed a floof. Merlin is trying to kill me. Ah! But uh, we were just sitting here talking about what my next project needs to be. And we were talking about other Pokemon or uh, Animal Crossing characters. And you popped in. I was like, oh, Spyro! I totally need to do Spyro.
that actually looks fantastic? What, did you doubt me? Was I doubted? Pretty much, pretty much. Like, not gonna lie, there. My entire downstairs is covered in floof. <laughs> Listen, I was pleasantly. Why? Why? Why did you doubt me? Why? Is your name Thomas? Like, I'm starting to wonder. You should never doubt Seven. You want to know why? Because Seven is awesome! <laughs> wow, that reference though! What? What? <laughs> Maybe his middle name is Thomas. <laughs> what? Why am I holding my hands up? You not know my middle name? <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord. I see no holes. <laughs> A long, long, long time. A long, long time ago. But yeah. <clears throat> no, holes? Where? No! You're not allowed to leave, Chrissy. Hey, Dreamy! No holes, but we did finish an Eevee. That is, we just checked. He is a solid foot tall. Ears and all, he is a solid foot tall. You'll never catch me alive, coppers! <laughs> Aww. I think we're probably, we're probably either, either getting, grabbing pizza or Murphy's probably making like hamburger helper or something with like salad. Cause I got this like huge Caesar salad cause I love Caesar salad. Um, and the last couple times I've gotten Caesar salad, I like haven't gotten any because all the kids have eaten it. <laughs> hey Renee, how are you? Okay, we got so many people coming in. Welcome. Welcome. The whole AV. I I have the means to do so. I have the means to do so confidently, even. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Goal is achieved. <laughs> I heard that she ran all the way back to her computer. She had made it out almost to her living room. And she ran all the way back to her computer just to say, I heard that. <laughs> So we hit our we hit our goal. You know what that means. Y'all know what that means. And Bree's not even here. We have to dance party. We have to. It's a thing. <laughs> It was 20 when you typed it. <laughs> but yeah, 
I could totally do the entire EV evolution. I could, um, I've already like sourced out all the patterns that I want and like which, uh, how much I would, they would cost to get all of them and all that stuff. The only one that I'm just kind of like, ugh, is Eevee or is, um, is Umbreon because black yarn sucks to work with. Top 10 most wholesome YouTubers. Number one, seven. No, it is not. It is not. Number one is absolutely Chadley. I have only ever seen him rage one time and he's been streaming just as long or longer than Murphy and Murphy's coming up on his three years. I have totally cussed on stream a couple of times. Um, like not even gonna lie about that. Well, I try very hard not to cuss, but there was a couple of streams ago, something happened and I straight up dropped an F-bomb. Nobody said anything, but I straight up dropped an F-bomb under my breath. I was like, oh! <laughs> like, I, I'm not even gonna, you know... <laughs> I missed it! Dang it! <laughs> oh, Bostoni! Oh! He's from Boston. I have family from Boston. They parked that car in the yard. <laughs> There's also a shoot. <laughs> but yeah, my I have I have family from Boston. My my aunt, my aunt, my auntie. Um. Uh, she likes to walk around the house in her tennies. They don't even live in Boston anymore. That's the best part. And the best part is like, they they never really lived in Boston. They were from Plymouth. <laughs> but they're like, oh no, we're from Boston. And I'm like, no, you're from Plymouth. I mean, it's close, but it's not Boston. But they live in Kentucky now, but they still keep up the accent. And I'm just like, D -d 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 yeah, they's wicked smart. Everything is wicked. Wicked everything. Oh my God. My sister, who is who lives in Rhode Island now, every, talking to her, every, it's wicked everything. If if Dreamy is from Boston, like every time he writes anything, I'm just that that's that's what I'm going to to envision or that that's what my brain is going to hear. Everything he types now is with that accent. <laughs> east to east of Wooster. <laughs> Gloucester. They're always from Gloucester. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, who can tell me what movie that line is from? <laughs> from your cousin Vinny? <laughs> Best scene in that movie is whenever Joe Pesci walks into the jail, j the jail cell. <laughs> and he's just like, either way you go, you're gonna get Beep. And he's like, I don't want to. It's like, either it's me doing it or it's them doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's coming and I laugh so hard every single time. Say the line again. Gloucester. They're always from Gloucester. However, I think it's P E. S-C-I? I think it's Pesci. I think it's uh, Sans the H. That's, that is one of the few very not PG movies that I actually let the kids watch because it's so funny. So, 
Good one, Patrick. Patrick for the win. Woo! Just... Patrick for the win! Oh, I love that one. The defense is wrong. Are you sure? I'm positive. How could you be so sure? So from here, I thought I would exclude myself. <laughs> I don't think she's ever heard of Perfect Storm. It's a fantastic movie. So it's got George Clooney in it, and uh, um, it's it's about the um, the fishing boats that go. Um, that bring in fresh catch and there is um i think it's based on a true story but uh, but yeah it's got does it have mark Wahlberg in it it might yeah i think it does i don't know i know it's got george Clooney in it because he's the, he plays he plays one of the captains but um but i think it's based on a, a true story or at least like true a bunch of true events basically there was this tropical storm coming up from the south so it had all of this hot air blowing it north towards the massachusetts coast and then there was this cold front coming out of canada coming south and they hit and they created like this perfect storm a perfectly fueled storm and it just so happened that there were these fishermen that hadn't been doing really well the commercial type fishermen that hadn't been doing any well really well and uh, they uh they motored out way past where they probably should have been to catch i think it's tuna that they're bringing in uh, it might have been marlin uh, but uh, they get caught in this perfect storm trying to get back because their ice machines um go out and they have two options they have they can either stay out farther than they should have been and their entire catch will go bad or they can try and motor through the storm and get back and like break the bank and they all decide to try and get back through the storm and um there's a rescue helicopter that try you know tries to go out after them and the crew chief um uh, he says the line you know he's uh looks at the pilot and the pilot says yeah we've got a couple fishermen from gloucester that went out too far and the the, the crew chief is like gloucester they're always from gloucester <laughs> and this like horrible accent <laughs> but yeah that's that's where it's from it's it's I, I like it it's a good movie I thought it was good <laughs> hey Merlin did you come back are you just now back or did I just not see you I could have not seen you I'm sorry if I didn't and K Fresh didn't like perfect storm <gasps> Why do you gotta keep up, keep on coming up with all these reasons why we can't be friends? All of these reasons why we can't be friends. Jeez. Like, we were, we were sort of on good terms last night over on your Twitch stream. But then, it, th now you're coming up with reasons again why we can't be friends. <laughs> Are you, are you planning on staying? I know you mentioned that uh, you're going to be doing content on both platforms. Are you go going to only be streaming on Twitch or are you going to be streaming on both? You said something about uploading videos. Go ahead and shout out your channel for a second. Do the stuff and the things while we have, let's see. We have 15 people watching. Mm 
me streaming on Twitch and posting videos on YouTube. Weren't you going to do that before? James Cameron? <laughs> Casually blocks Patrick. Wow! Between Brooklyn and Boston accent. Um... I can't do, like, I could mimic, if I hear somebody speaking in a Brooklyn accent, I can mimic them. Boston is one of the few ones that I can just pull out because I've heard it all of my life. So, uh, like, I can pull out Boston, I can pull out a, a good Southern one, I can pull out uh, a hick accent. These are the ones that I've heard all of my life. Brooklyn, I've kind of, like, yeah, I can't just pull Brooklyn out of my back pocket. Sorry. New York accents are superior. Watch Newsies. Watch Newsies. There you go. Oh, oh, Dreamy. Dreamy, Dreamy is part of the, the tribe. He likes Last Airbender too. He has, he has been indoctrinated into the tribe. Oh yeah, Bowtie, like, again, like, my family is, uh, they, like, they were from Plymouth. And uh, I've been up there many, many times. Um, and there is a lot of people there in Plymouth that speak that way with, they, they it's like, it's almost like a jaw drop. The, the throat is really open and they drop the jaw on a lot of the ah sounds like Boston. Um, but I like the closer in to actually Boston you get, you don't really hear it as much. It's more like outside Boston that you hear it, strangely enough. Um, and then my sister, my older sister, who actually lives in uh, Rhode Island now, speaks really like with that Boston accent. And then my, my, my aunt and my grandparents um, who lived in Plymouth forever still speak with that accent and they live in Kentucky now so go figure you come equipped with the teamsters you're living for Avatar yes I want to go back through and watch Korra I actually really enjoyed Korra um uh, we have on our island we have an Iroh garden like everybody else is doing, uh, 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 is doing Zen gardens. We did an Iro garden. Uh, so like we have little, like we have this area that like half of it is just a tribute to Iro, and the other half is the Jade Dragon, which was his tea shop. So. <laughs> just doing witchcraft. <laughs> Same title. But you need to come up with more ideas. If it's been an hour already, it's been an hour. We were having fun talking. Jeez. Well, y'all gotta be mean to me. It's not like this is a gaming channel or something. Ugh. Fine, I'll turn the PS4 on. Our island 
island is named Wana Wananaka because Danny Raid named it. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. Close that, close that, move this over here. Close that. Open this, open that. What is this strange thing you speak of? The last samurai filler. <laughs> We are totally getting a PS5, yes. Or at least that's the plan. I have okay. My buttons are backwards. I'm having to sit here and think. Um, there. Yeah, we were, I was looking today and I was, uh, um, I'm just, uh, everybody's talking about how large the PS5 is supposed to be. Honestly, I don't particularly care because like I don't buy a console for it to be aesthetically pleasing in my living room. I buy it to play games on. That's just my personal opinion. Um, like they could <laughs> size totally matters like he can tell you it's not the it's not the size of the ship it's the motion of the ocean all he wants but nobody wants to go to europe in a rowboat just saying Yeah, I don't need my consoles to be a work of art. Like, they're going to sit behind my monitors and I'm not even going to see them anyway. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> um, but everybody's talking about how, how small the Xbox is and, and all this. I'm like, but it's Microsoft. Everything that you can get on the Xbox, if you have a PC, you can get on the PC and the graphics are going to be better anyway. <sighs> like, Brianna, you missed our dance party. We had an EV dance party. Okay, so we're in Hillcrest. We are trying to find Tommy. Just about all day. I mean, that's not a, necessarily a bad thing. first time you witnessed a seven dance party it, it was it was horrific wasn't it seven you know is a horrible dancer i really am bye kevin thank you for stopping by i appreciate you since i'm not your favorite streamer anymore <laughs> Just had to throw that one in there. Just as he's leaving. <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. 
I swear I swallowed a floof. Sad day. Very sad day. Extremely sad day. <coughs> Listen! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Give me none of that. I can just see Kevin, just the sassy head wag and like three snaps in a circle. <laughs> I had to, I had to. Okay. So we is. <coughs> I, whew. I said, I, Merlin's trying to kill me. <clears throat> Just so you know, Merlin, even if you kill me, you don't you don't get a uh, a refund. Okay. Come on, why can't we Nathan Drake this wall? Just like jump, Ellie. You're not even trying. You're such a lazy girl. <laughs> oh. Desktop audio. Come on, guys. Y'all forgot to remind me. That's what it was. I didn't have Chrissy with her with her dog ears. That's what it was. <laughs> she didn't destroy everything in sight. It does. Yes. We we okay. Chrissy is a superhero. She has and she has like some sort of superhero a super hearing. We have to des decide for on a superhero name for Chrissy. It is a thing. It is confirmed. You cannot dispute this. Okay, um, Ellie, do we not see what's happening? Anybody hear that? I guess we'll find out in a minute now, won't we? So. I'm assuming on the other side over there where I tried to jump. I'm gonna move you. There's a hill here though. But there's grass here. <laughs> okay. Old Grace here. 
confident confident bat bat confidence <laughs> there's got to be some sort of play on words that has to do with like some sort of like echolocation or something although or you know there's a a girl in a show that I watched that I've actually recently started watching again called Alphas um and she has she, her superpower is that she can actually heighten one of her senses any one of her senses but she can only do one well whenever she heightens one the others kind of weaken so she can't um if she's heightening her eyes she can't smell taste or you know or touch um or hear but she can like heighten a sense to the point like if she's heightening her eyes she can actually like see your scent in the air like she can heighten her eyes to like microscope power or she can heighten her sense of smell um to where it's like better than a dog Ow! That worked. Barely. It's actually a really good show, Chrissy. I think that you would probably enjoy it. Ooh! I see a workbench! I see a workbench! Uh oh. Oh, we got more from Boris. Alphas, even though it's backwards. Hashtag not sponsored. It was only two or three seasons and they canceled it on a cliffhanger, which sucks. But it's a really good show. I really like it. It definitely puts a different spin on mutants. Like, I feel like it brings it down, makes mutants less OP and makes it more logical. Okay, Boris. I I'm not sure why I'm going why I want to read that name in the Natasha voice, but I'm so sorry. What those wolves did to Sophia was horrifying. I I don't I I feel like I can't make fun of this. Like this is like real crazy stuff i can't help but feel somewhat responsible i've been getting the town so riled up about standing our ground against the wolves when she started spray painting over their rules i didn't discourage her hard enough i kept it from you i thought she'd stop i know you want to retaliate against the wolves believe me i feel the same but we can't not now We've got to be smart. Let things cool down. People will be looking to you for how to handle this. You were a leader here before the outbreak. I need you to be a leader again. Let's not let everything we fought for be in vain. Okay, so there's like small little factions rising up against the WLF. Okay. Oh, hello. Like little rebel factions. So not everybody is thrilled about the WLF. Got it. Hello. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, okay. Naliti, the youthful. Um, I hate to tell you there, sweetheart. Okay, brains over brawn. Though she wears baggy robes to cover her numerous burn marks, don't let Naliti's frail, gray-haired appearance fool you. After refusing to die alongside her family in an arson attack, she, her cries for revenge allowed a dark spirit to inhabit her being. Hmm bringing a cursed 
a curse disguised as a blessing. While touching another living being, neither can be physically harmed or killed. Infinitely vulnerable. So long as she is alone. She has teamed up with the mighty Bizarbra, whose strength, strength allows her to carry Nalidi into battle with those who've wronged her. A near invulnerable team up. That would be crazy OP in a role playing game. Like, as I'm reading it, I'm looking, I'm like, am I reading this right? I think I'm reading this right. How would she swap the mosquitoes? Very carefully. Um... Oh, I need... Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Where my brain went? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, what I really want is to be able to scope this baby down. I mean, I guess ammo capacity would be good. I really want to be able to scope, though. have one round for this yeah I think I want to save the extra seven I want to get the extra seven tools and uh, upgrade the scope on my rifle Please don't close after me. Hello. Like, not that I think, ooh, why can't we get a bicycle? Yep, we totally left her behind because having been a pregnant woman seven times, when you're going through morning sickness, when you're in that stage, and for some women it's like the entire pregnancy, you're pretty much useless. And apparently, even at a couple of weeks, Dina was in that useless stage. So we were like, deuces. No, we, she was throwing up. She wasn't feeling good. So we, uh, we said that we would go find Tommy. I mean, she was pretty useless already. And yes, Wendigo, I have seven children. Ranging in ages from 18 to two. Oh, why do I have music? I don't want music. Hmm. 
now we know she has a reason for being useless. I mean, having been a pregnant twice while in the military, with my first one, I was nearly six months pregnant and did a 5K uh, run. Did a 10 mile ruck march with a 40 pound ruck on my back. So... Um, faster crafting, improved silencers. There was something that I wanted. Faster prone movement. I got the listen mode clarity. Faster. Oh, it was this faster stealth kills. That's what it was. This is the dumbest mechanic, by the way. Forcing me to use the skill tree like this. Ugh. Hey, Leonardo! How are you? My fave turtle is Leonardo. Oh, no, 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 it's, it, it's fine. No, I'm not Wonder Woman. I just was really dumb and, uh, well, it wasn't that I was dumb. It was, I was young and whenever sometimes, uh, some women, uh, whenever they're that active and like that hardcore, it messes with the cycle. And like, um, I was kind of irregular anyway, so I just didn't recognize the signs. Huh. An actual tattoo shop. Yep, yum and dumb. Yeah, yum and dumb. Yum and dumb. Wow. I didn't just say that. But yeah, honestly, that kind of stuff happens quite a lot in the military. Not gonna lie. You know, our hearts will always be with Hillcrest, but after Sophia's shooting, we've decided to head to the stadium with the others. We've got our own kids to think about. The Brandmans. P.S. Saw Boris a couple hours ago. We tried to talk to him, but he seems off. Please talk to him. I hope you guys will join us. A hungry hostess? What? 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 Hostess? I like hostess. Also, the tattoo shop that I went in did not look anything like this. I don't like music. I like music, but I don't like it whenever it's in my games because that usually means I'm about to have to like run for my life. Okay, that, why do I have this down here? Something down here, nope. Oh, okay. That's yellow. Is there a door behind there? There's totally a door behind there. Is that plot? Oh, it's so hard to tell where plot is. So that is yellow. That with Naughty Dog, that usually signifies plot.
when you're both proud of yourself and disappointed? Super large cup of Chick-fil-A of water. Uh-huh. Of sweet tea. We got a tattoo shop right beside the, the salon. Okay. Hello. Little concerned that there is uh, flies in your salon here. Oh, hello. Don't have a melee weapon. I'm kind of uh, concerned about that. Okay, this is the end of the street. Yeah, I'm thinking that back there is plot. Okay, so I'm going to search down this side of the street. For some more loot. I would love to before I leave this area. Oh, baby. Okay. That's why I had music. Oh, there's one over there. Why are they in the pet store? Oh no, they're in the saloon because of course. getting no loot I want loot um bye Chris thank you for being here Can I kick those open I got no money. And I'm sure it's been looted long before now. Iced tea is sweet tea? What? open any of those oh god oh 
What is up there? Adopt a stairway. Okay, I want to continue looting here. Oh, I'm on the other side of that. Okay. Do what? Okay, that's the pet store. Spirits and beer. I don't want no ghosts with my alcoholic beverages. Ooh, can I get, can I get, oh, can I not? I want to get a pipe. Something that I can melee with. Oh, there's a basement down there. And it looks like there's goodies in it. Yay! Always count on the beer store owners to have ammo in their drawers. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. A boozer cyst? A boozer cyst? Okay, what's down here? Oh, I knew it. Gosh darn it. Where are you at, buddy? There's two of you, aren't there? God, I hate the way they roar. I'm not gonna lie. He creeps me the crap out. Oh God, oh God, oh God, you don't see me. Oh good, they're both on fire. That's fantastic. Uh, health packs are up there. Malibu and ginger. Ugh. Uh, me and I like rum fine. Rum and I do not get along. Yes! Oh, uh, only one? I feel like my camera is zoomed way in. Oh, hello! Oh, 
Oh, yes. Do I have enough yet? What was it? Can I check my... I can't even check my... How many uh, tools I have, can I? Well, perfect Nugan. Army of Dark Raid? Hey! I know that dude! Where's the dude? Hey, Yugi, how are you? Before I go any farther. Dude, how are you doing, Jake? What were you doing? You know, guys, we got a raid. That is, that is 100% an excellent reason to dance party. And on this screen, we don't have the Eevee. On this screen, we get... <laughs> How are y'all doing? <laughs> no Eevee? We, but, we, but we had this Eevee. For, well, until tomorrow. We had this Eevee. <laughs> we, but we have Jean-Claude Van Damme. We just dance partied with Jean-Claude. With the Jean-Claude. Oh, you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn? Nice. I have that game and I have yet to play it. What? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we've got to fix this. <laughs> it is, it, it is mine until tomorrow. How is The Last of Us going? Um, you know, I'm still not exactly sure how I feel about this game. Like, for the most part, I like it. But it is a freaking depressing game. She's talking about the D word, Kyle. We don't consider that one uh, PG. Like, we just ask that you don't use it. Like, we consider, we call, we say Disney PG. If it's in a Disney movie, then you're good. So we, we allow innuendo and stuff over here, but no cuss words. That's all we ask. Toy store. Toy store? No, daycare. I I am I am wielding a shotgun in a daycare. Oh, is there is there toys? Is there puzzles? Is there games? Uh oh. <gasps> oh, is that a training manual? Um, 15 hunting rifle scopes. Nice. Oh, can I not flip it? Precision. Nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, but that's a different branch of Disney. The rule is still no swearing. Innu some, some innuendo is fine, but no swearing. Okay. Okay, so do I have enough tools to go... Where was it? Was it over here? I think it was over here. Yeah, the bike shop. Oh, I still don't have enough! I'm short by three! Are you freaking kidding me? Ah! How do you approach that? Gosh darn it. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that one. No, that's what that ammo was for. It's for that one. Gosh darn it. Um, okay. So, I guess. Whoop. Oh, it was a brick. I, I want to see what's up the stairs. Can I even get over there? Or do I have to go through the basement? No, I have to go through there. Okay. I think that back alley is... Hello. And I pick up Ellie. Ellie. Chill. Chill, honey baby, sweetie. It was Boris. I saw him shoot the WLF patrol against their own van. Jesus, I get it. They killed his daughter, but he just signed our death warrant. We have one chance out of this. We turn him in. I know he's your friend, but if those wolves shot that girl over some graffiti, think of what they'll do to all of us if they think we're harboring the killer of three of their own. Let's meet at the usual place after curfew. Wow, we got some coup type stuff going on. Hello. Both my parents are alive. Um, I mean, they're dogs, but, uh, 101 Dalmatians, Pongo and Purdy, um, Moana, both of her parents are alive. The grandmother dies, but both of the parents are alive. Um, Inside Out is another one. Um, trying, I'm going through, trying to think. Wasn't Sleeping Beauty, but wasn't both of her parents alive? Oh, uh, Rapunzel, both of her parents are alive.
Yeah, she was raised by Mother Gothel, but both of her parents are alive. Oh, I totally missed that first time through. Yo, when Dale comes by, he's gonna ask for the safe combo. But just walk over to the garage and put it in yourself. Otherwise, he's gonna bother you eight more times. The combo is 30, 80, 65. Someone needs to talk to his wife. I know she wants to think he's gonna get better, but it's time to get practical. I heard the WLF have some real doctors on their base. Nobody would blame her for leaving except Boris, but, you know, screw him. Walk over to the garage? Hold on. So is the garage not plot? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I thought the garage was plot. Is the stairway plot? Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hear, I hear. Oh, they're in there? Ow! Oh, uh. Okay, that's... Where is this garage that they're, they're talking about? Okay, it's just two of them. What the heck just happened there? Did anybody else see that totally move by itself? didn't just jump every time I shot one of them guys. The fuck was that? Oh, that was a that 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 was a butt clincher. Oh. That I did not hear those sounds the first time through.
There was four in there. Ah, there's the safe. Okay, there's the safe. So what was it? 80, 32, 65? Thirty eighty two sixty five. Thirty eighty two sixty five. Ah. Thirty. Eighty two. This better be worth it. <gasps> yes, we got another whole star. Woo! I love it when the game rewards me for looting. Yes! All the yes. Oh, yeah. It's that, that's almost sexy. Okay. Oh. Yay! Look at it. It just kind of rolls out real pretty, like. Okay, um... Oh, I still can't have it? Dang it! Ooh! Ooh! Looks like they've been locked in here for years. Possibly. <laughs> They've just been harboring in here them in here, just like how do they survive? Like, do they eat? Like they've been locked in there for years. How were they surviving? Just because they're infected, like they've gotta eat, right? <gasps> yes! Shotgun chills. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Was that enough? Was that enough? Please tell me that was enough. No, they're actually alive, I think. They were infected with the disease. I don't think they ever actually die because, uh... Whenever Henry turned and attacked Ellie in the first game, he never actually died. What was I supposed to look at? Yes! Okay. Mm. Do I want to hold out for damage? I mean, this thing pretty much drops them in one shot anyway. X while using... Okay. 
Aha, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I wish I had known that earlier in the game. That I could just toggle through them like that. <gasps> okay. There we go. That's how I switch. Okay. Now, I'm guessing stairs. How do I get to those stairs? Honey, we, we already figured that out. Don't worry. Don't worry your precious little head about it. Did I go over here? I think I did. Oh, he's already despawned. Is there anything I had to leave behind? I can now use. Now that I have successfully looted and I have this ginormous gun on my backpack. Oh, 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 please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just in case. Nice shot. <gasps> please tell me I'm going to get. Please, 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 there's something I'm supposed to loot. I have arrows. I must be get. I, I have to get the the bow here shortly. Uh oh, I heard that. Well, what was that? Um, sounded like a boom. It was a ginormous fart, Ellie. What do you think it was? Oh, I see, I see smoke. I hear them. Where are they at? Why? I can hear them, but I can't see them. You did that, Tommy. Ah, oh, there you are. There you are. Almost made me look good. Hey, thank you for stopping by and sticking around, Gilf. I appreciate you. <laughs> Ellie's like me. She's about as subtle as a hand grenade.
mostly it was just I had some cover here. That was a long way to find to try and stealth over there without them seeing me. And I had a good spot to go ahead and just kneel down and, you know, wait for them to come at me. It was nice and open. There was nothing for them to, uh, to hide behind. And so I just, you know. I drop you. There you are. it up. I open this. Excuse me. Anything here? I think I already looked in here. Yeah. Okay. Making sure. Uh. You're nothing. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I has tacos. <laughs> Got a hot tub. Hey, y'all see this. I'm listening before I go in the house. And I hear nothing. Two days of eating clean. I want it now. But I have no idea what it is. Uh-oh, we got more papers. Yolanda. I'm sorry. I won't be able to keep taking care of Alfie. You were right about the wolves. They turned out to be worse than the military. What I didn't expect is that our own neighborhood would turn on each other. They all saw what the wolves did to my poor Sophia. And... What did everyone want to do in return? Appease? I deserved wolf blood. They should have joined me. Instead, they conspired against me. So I got them first. Did Boris turn around and... Oh... I poisoned them one by one. Wow. Not enough to kill them. Just put them to sleep. Oh, okay. Then I dragged them into a... Sp oh, wow. But he bit me. Wow, those people that were in the garage and that had been there for years, it was the people of this neighborhood. Hey, Sean, how are you? Whew. This game is depressing when you start reading all of this stuff and realizing what's going on. Ha! Huh. Those traitors are going to watch each other turn. They will suffer. 
Hope they think of me when they lose their minds. I'm already starting to lose mine. It won't be long now. Hope you found peace somewhere out there. Outside of this crappy town. I hope you don't come back to see all of this. If you do, I'm sorry. Wow. So the people we've been killing are the people of this neighborhood. Just wow. More wolf propaganda. Oh no, it's a sale. Okay. Unbeatable deals. You just tried to scroll the letter. <laughs> Loot. Lion infested kitchen. Ooh, yay. Revolver. I like revolver. Health? Health is good. I like health. Do I want to know why there's flies everywhere? Oh, do I want to know why there's flies everywhere in here? Oh, whoa. Is that a stain or a hole? I can't tell. Oh. Use your flashlight, Seven. Come on. Why is that one boarded up from this side? Oh, what busted through that door over here? Gilf is going to be sorry he missed that one. That must have been Boris. Yeah, this will do. Oh, Jesus. That'll work. Can I not make any more? Oh, okay. I can only carry six. <sighs> I wasn't even looking! <laughs> like, I kept on saying, like, wh why are there flies in here? What, 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 uh, what busted through that door? <laughs> Dude, the jump scares in this game! No fair! Uh, let's just keep it at that. Okay. Too bad for Boris. One way to 
use mannequins. Let's see. All right. You can sometimes recover your arrow from a headshot. Oh, yes. Oh, I wish I'd have known that before I crafted arrows. Okay. Oh, fudge. Another trespasser, a girl. Did you see her? No, but the fucking guy is nearby. Shit. We're looking for two. The fuck's all that smoke? He blew up one of our trucks. How'd you let that happen? Just find them. I want those fucking trespassers. We're just gonna mosey on this way. Oh. I mean, yes, but no. Oh God, the dog. Come here, 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 come here. Stupid dogs, but yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
crap. just way too dang many of them yes i know arrows are silent Oh God. I want every Hello. building in the area searched. It's around here somewhere. It's her! Oh, shit! Oh, this is not gonna go well. Too open, it's too open. Oh, come on. I am running after the dog. Why am I running after the dog? Oh, crap. <sighs> this is going to be one crappy area. Fudge. is going to be a pain it's the dogs the dogs are going to have to go machete okay that'll work that'll work I'm seriously going to have to stealth like this entire area. Okay. Oh boy, you're right there. Crap. He might have something. Smell something, boy? <laughs> Can I? 
Okay, I've got, I, I did better that time, but yeah, I've got to keep on moving. Oh God. Where the fuck is he? Anything? He's got to be around here. Oh God. When we find him, come on. Hey, Jeff, let him here. Don't let her get away. Oh, house bad, house bad, house bad. Oh. oh, this this part may be the death of me, guys. Uh huh. Get it? Uh -huh. This back alley. she is. Darn tootin' she is. Gosh darn it, why, Ellie, why, 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 why? Don't let her escape! But she does best though! Come on, open the door, Ellie. Oh god. Go on, girl! Get her! Get her! No! Just let me through! Gosh darn it. Named by the owners? Where is it going to reset me to? Oh, boy. Let's do this. Let's double back. Got something. What you smell, boy? What? What? This is bull honky. This is bull honky. Can I stealth the dog? Please tell me I can stealth the dog. No, I can't stealth the dog.
Oh god, another dog? Really? I'm so almost dead. Oh, how are y'all enjoying seeing me die over and over and over again? It's super fun. Let's start trying bombs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, who sees me? Who sees me? Who sees me? Jesus! Down, down! I don't see her. She can't have gone far. Oh god, 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 oh god. No kidding. I am so ready to have this over with. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Different door, different door, different door. Ah! 
I'm losing out on so much loot. Over here, by the fence. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh, I'm so dead. out on that axe. Gosh darn it. Charlotte, move up! In here. Help! <sighs> what the crap? Checkpoint, yes. Oh, of course, we get a raid right now. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, watch me dirt. So hard. Find another angle. Ah, no. <laughs> hey, Raiders. How are you, Fran? Mordak? Supa, hey Corey. Oh my gosh. We have been stuck on this part for quite some time. Go, go, go! Punch in! No! I have a machete! No, no! Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I am just trying desperately to get through this part. How could you not? <laughs> There you are. Oh, please tell me. I <gasps> Tommy, please be Tommy. Please be Tommy. Oh my God, did we finally do it? Corey, you are on my lucky star. Jesse! I think I'd let 
you do this on your own. Jesse. Where's Dina? She's safe. She's just sick. Oh! Kind of sick. She's fine. Christ, there's a lot of them. New escort mission? Holy crap. Maybe he'll be more helpful than Dina? Hey, how hurt are you? I'll be okay. Your friends out there rushed me. No warning, no nothing. Tell me you didn't come alone. Give me shit about it later. <laughs> wow. You're a fucking idiot. You know that, right? Yeah. That That's your plan. We need to get some distance. Okay. okay, okay, we're doing this. You ready? Yeah. Hey, be smart about it. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I saw something. Oh, no, you didn't. You saw nothing. Headshot. That was a head. That should have been a headshot. Oh, come on. I was robbed on that one. That was totally a headshot. Just go for the truck. What do we do? Loot. Yes, loot. Loot. Let's go. Come on, you drive. Okay. You drive, I take shotgun. Oh, really? It's one of these? Open, dude. Go, go. Oh boy. Can we? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, my God. oh Jesus. No. You ugly dumbbox. Get out of my way. Oh, 
Oh, please tell me that thing can't swim. Shit. Oh, God. Shit. Was anybody else holding their breath? Because I totally was. Oh, my God. You okay? Never better. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Here, go on. Super say I was. <laughs> oh my god. Corey, you couldn't I, I mean, you couldn't have picked a better time to raid. Like, oh my god. Dina. Oh, there, baby daddy. Jesse. Hey, Dina. Oh, hey. You okay? Nothing. No sleep. Won't take care of. Wish this is awkward. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Come on. This is really awkward. How'd you get past Maria? I had to sneak out. <laughs> Friends' problems are my problems. I heard you're sick. Oh, it's it's just a stomach thing. Come on. He heard she was Sit sick. Down, huh? uh, you don't need to do that. Oh, Ellie's up. not jealous at all. So when'd you leave Jackson? Day after you. There was bad snow when I crossed into Oregon. I've been doing 18 hour stretches for the past two weeks trying to catch it. Oh, oh look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> What? Ooh, Tommy? Huh? Huh? Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Okay. No. No. Okay. Holy crap. Two Man. years earlier. This silent treatment. <laughs> Man, I mean, I forgot to get my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize. Oh, oh my gosh. All the whatever the crap just happened. Yes, stop and process what just happened. First of all, let's address raid because Thank you, Corey, if you are still here and you're Raiders. I am sorry I did not stop and address y'all to begin with, but we had been stuck on that area that we apparently just had to run through. <sighs> but if any of Corey's Raiders were still here, what was Corey playing? It's intense. I don't think that covers it, Supa. I don't know that intense fully covers the level of holy crap that that situation was. <laughs> like it was, there was just so many enemies. There was nothing to do but just, like, run through it. Like, I tried stealthing, and I could stealth a couple of areas, but there was just multiple dogs. There's dogs in this game. I am so sad that there are dogs in this game. Why did they have to be dogs in this game? Sad. Super sad. All the sad. And yes, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to save. Let's 
to her. I just sit. You just sit. Yeah, I've made this a game that you'll never play. I mean, it's bad enough with the infected animals in Resident Evil, but now, like, these are, like, at least with infected animals, you can kind of justify it. Like, oh, okay, they're infected. Oh, the, these, these puppos are just doing what their owners tell them to do. Yeah, this one... I'll be honest, I'm still not sure how I feel about this game. Like, it's the just the constant drama, the like just depressing cloud that constantly hangs over just oh my lord like gameplay is is okay and like it's not bad but it's just the story i am not sure how i feel about the story of this game and i hear it only gets worse I mean, I don't dislike the story. Like, I'm not one of those, oh my god, I hate this. I don't hate it. But, yeah. I mean, I guess I like the game. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. They did their job really well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I really feel... First of all, where's Tommy? Where is Tommy gone off to? If all of this was being... We thought it was Tommy. Apparently it's been Jesse this whole time. Where is Tommy at? How far ahead of us is he? Have we been tailing Jesse? Or has Jesse just now caught up to us? Is that what it is? Um. Like, I get why... Spoiler alert. I get why they had to kill off Joel. But we still don't know what the crap is going on with this Abby chick. Like, ah. Hmm. They are definitely, they're holding their secrets close. I, I will, I'll, the, I will go along with that statement, Supa. I, I will go along with that. It's they, the Naughty Dog definitely does their job of pulling at those emotional strings. But, um... Uh, it, hmm. it, I mean, it's a depressing story. Like, there's no if ands, or buts about it. It's, it's a depressing story. Yeah, we saw a photo of her, but we haven't actually seen or heard anything about her. We know that Owen, the guy that, uh, uh, got Mel pregnant at the beginning, has abandoned ship. He's run off and they haven't heard from him. They're assuming that he's dead. Um, but we haven't heard anything about Abby. So, I don't know. I don't know. Have you played through it, Supa? Like, have you seen? Oh my god, we've got 30 likes. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, CC Gaming Raiders, for that raid and pushed us over, pushed us to the 30 likes. Holy crap. 
the first one only. The first one I really like. I love the first one. Um, this one. Yeah. I think the uh, jury's still out on this one. For the most part, it's okay. But yeah, jury's still kind of out on this one. Um, let's see. Who do we want to raid? Do we want to do... Do we want to do Smash? Do we want to do Persona 4? Do we want to do... Uh, Final Fantasy 7? Final Fantasy Me? Or we've got a Doom. We've got Pokemon Sword. We could go like completely different direction and do, you know, something super happy. I have no clue how far I am in the game. No clue. I know I'm Seattle day two in Hillcrest. Seattle day two in Hillcrest. That's all I know, Chrissy. I know what you guys know. I have not looked at any walkthroughs or anything like this. <laughs> we know what Wendigo's vote is. Teen drama, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of drama with that around. Oh, baby daddy is back in the picture. Oh, God. Something super happy because of what happened. Okay, well then let's do Pokemon Sword. Um, it says tackling the tower and rocking the raids. Apparently they're just doing a bunch of raids. So if that is your thing... Okay, let's turn on that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you to Corey and his raiders for raiding over. Thank you, Supa, for sticking around. Um, thank you, Funk, for the very generous raid. I don't think I actually got to thank you yesterday. And Patrick for the uh for the uh the donation yesterday as well. Um but uh we're gonna go on a raid. I will, don't forget, we're doing a bonus stream on Friday this week. Um, I'm still not exactly sure what that is. But we're going to go over and visit a good friend of mine, Nintagious. He's playing Pokemon Sword. He, I know he is wanting to stay as far away from The Last of Us as possible because he wants to play it at some point, but he wants all the hype to die down, I'm, I'm sure. Um... But please try and stay three to five minutes so that YouTube doesn't think that you're a bot. He is friendly, but not family friendly. Um, so please hit that like button. If you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell um, so that you can become a more permanent part of his community. Um, as I said, he is a good friend of mine. He is a fantastic streamer. He is funny and very honest. Blatantly honest. He will tell you exactly how he feels, and I love that about him. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys over on the raid, and then back here again tomorrow for some more Last of Us 2. Until then, guys, take care, be safe, break legs, and toodles!